Michael Knowles has been protested yet again, and we've seen lots of strange stuff happen to him. Strange liquids thrown at him, being yelled at, being called a coloni colonialist, a white supremacist, everything he gets heckled. Uh, this time he was yelled at for daring to talk about and defend George Washington. This monster that is Michael Knowles. Let me tell you, somebody's got to stop him. Here's the article, everybody. Hopefully... We can stop them if we band together. A group of leftist students disrupted Daily Wire's Michael Knowles' speech, sponsored by GW Young America's George Washington University, I guess, Young America's Foundation, shouting expletives and insults at the speaker. I love that word, expletives. Before being escorted out by university police officers, the speech titled George Washington is Cancelled was the second stop on Knowles' exclusive fall speaking tour titled Men Are Not Women and Other Uncomfortable Truths sponsored by these people. Something I want to mention there is the Men Are Not Women speech is the one where he had people try to attack him and throw stuff on him. Ten minutes into the speech, a phone timer went off, which is, of course, very millennial of them or whatever generation they may be part of. And around 10 students stood up and began yelling F you, effing fascist, and chanting shame. When Knowles asked the protesters what he said that they disagreed with, the protesters would not give a response. Now, these may have been some of the worst protesters I've ever seen. Again, their phone goes off, and they all stand up. It's only about like a 30 seconds or a minute long. Luckily, it's all on video. And most of them don't even seem, seem into it. Some of them are laughing. And when they leave, it actually opens up seats for people who wanted to come in but couldn't. So they were able to bring in more people who wanted to see the presentation or the speech that wouldn't have otherwise been able to see it if these people just sat there and listened to a person they disagreed with. So it's pretty funny. And before I show you, I want to mention that I do have a Patreon. I do have a way to support my channel because we are downvoted. We are deranked. As you can see, we have almost 50,000 subscribers that we slowly lose for some reason. We've been slowly losing for a few months and we're also delisted. We have that many subscribers, but we're getting uh, much less reach than we should be. Hopefully there's a whole Steven Crowder situation for the rest of YouTube where they can't do this anymore. But it's obviously because they want to push certain news corporations and just make it like old TV. So if you turn on the television and you see a two-minute commercial and you're like, how have they not changed this yet? Uh, I'm just going to go watch YouTube videos again. And you want to keep it that way, then you have to support us. There's, there's no other way around it or else it's just going to become run by Fox and CNN and... NBC. It's just going to be the same channels on YouTube that we got away from on television, and then they're just going to start forcing you to pay packages for it. That's all there is to it. So please help support me. Uh, I'm not making any money off of this channel, off of my other channel. Uh, Patreon.com slash Andrew says, here's the Michael Knowles video. And to end rule in Great Britain. They wanted their political independence. Oh, there, these kids are really proving me wrong. You see, because my premise was that these students are ignorant and uh, not well behaved. But they're proving me wrong tonight. They, they called me a fascist for defending George Washington. Behold your country, leftists. Behold. I hope the cameras catch uh, all the faces here too, because I think this school costs about $70,000 a year to attend. This is the job they've done. <laughs> hey, hey, just, just for the people in the room, if you have, like that guy right there, what did I say, what did I say that you disagree with? Does anyone have anything, what did, what did I say that any of you disagree with? Can you name one thing? What, well, what is it? What is it? What did I say? I can't hear over all the shouting and uh, the screeching and the... Uh, what, what did I say that you disagree with? Could you... Thunder? I can't... I can't... What are you saying? I can't hear it. So they can't name one thing. They can't name one thing. You guys are doing a great job here at GW, professors. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I don't know, I think that pretty much proves my point. I guess that's the end of the speech, right? Is... <laughs> Man, that's what happens. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, 
But how do you feel about George Washington? You love him even more. All right, good. <laughs> well, I'm glad that now that uh, those uh, people left the room, now we can bring in more people to hear about George Washington. Welcome back in. <laughs> glad to hear it. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Now, I think when he asked uh, what they're complaining about, a couple of them said Greta Thunberg. I'm fairly certain a few of them said that. And, of course, Michael Knowles got in a lot of heat the other day. I had to defend him against my friends who thought that he apologized for saying Greta Thunberg is mentally ill. Um, it wasn't him who apologized. It was, sadly, Fox News that apologized on his behalf, of course, and said they wouldn't be inviting him back because he's wronged them. And he's terrible for pointing out that, like, everything, it turns out to be fake news and she has like six six or seven mental health issues like uh, sleep deprivation ocd uh, all sorts of things that i don't care to name i put it in another video called uh, was michael knowles right about greta um her two weeks of fame fame seem to be up as you know and one of the reasons is she's too white to be complaining or is it that's something i heard the other day and a couple of people told me that she, people are mad because she's white and she's getting all the spotlight. And you might think that, you might agree with that if you were on Twitter recently. And I did a little digging and I looked for sources that claimed that people are complaining that she's white. Other than on Twitter, of course, there's tweets about that from crazy people. But all I found was one source that people were pointing to from New Zealand called the News Hub. It was called Supporting Greta Thunberg is Evidence of White Supremacy Activist Claim. And all it is is a clickbait featuring a bunch of tweets that they found. Tweets from random people are not news people. They are not evidence to support a claim. If they're not notable people, if they're not people in the news, if they're not politicians, if they're not notable people in whatever sphere it is, then you're just searching for someone who agrees with your narrative so you can publish a terrible clickbaity article like this. This is my problem with the old right-wing stuff and staunch Republicans and far-right conservatives that they still engage in this outrage stuff, the pearl clutching, if you will, the clutch and the pearl necklace, because they're still either used to the fake uh, methods of, po of politics that we're tr everyone's trying to get away from or that Trump forced to become the reality. Or that they want to appeal to the, the Twitterverse, the, the Twitter world. Now I'm sounding like O.J. Simpson. Hello, Twitter world. I just kind of murdered two people, but listen to what I have to say. I'm, I'm really cool. I was a Heisman Trophy winner. I'm pretty sure he was. I'm pretty sure he won. He was a good running back. I'm sorry. But don't watch O.J. Simpson. <laughs> we saw a lot of this with the Trudeau blackface where conservatives were saying, this is an outrage, I can't believe it. I can't believe the prime minister is racist. And if you believe that blackface is racist, then that's fine. You're free to believe that. But you know that these politicians don't care at all. They're just seeing this as an opportunity to destroy him because he's in power and they want to get power. We get it. You're not racist, but just let some things go. Let some things be jokes. Laugh off some things. Just let him dig his own grave when he caught, gets caught doing blackface like five times and then his changes his profile picture the next day to him and a black guy. Just let him go to the boxing gym like he's doing for a PR stunt while reporters are shoved to the ground. <laughs> you need to be able to, to get past this because if you're going to be offended by everything and try to get people fired or deplatform or force them to, the, to resign, this is what people were supposed to be against. This is what the whole uh, freedom movement, if you want to call, call it that, is supposed to be against people doing that. And everything that we want to get away from, or at the very least everything that everyone has been complaining about for years now, is this fake outrage and trying to get people to lose their jobs for saying F her right in the you know whoozle as we still adhere to YouTube's guidelines. Um, getting fired for that because that's, that's what has happened. And now people are just doing it on the other side. Now I understand people doing it ironically. Uh, Jack Posobiec and Mike Cernovich kind of used to do this ironically, but it's kind of turned into just uh, a thing where you're just like, hmm, should... I'm not saying they should be fired, but wouldn't they be fired if they was on the other side? You can't do it. It's too much, and nobody wants it. It's annoying, and we get it. You're not, you're not racist. Uh, you're not controversial. You're not offensive. This isn't going to get you votes moving forward. That's why, uh, that's why Trump won, and that's why Maxine Bernier of the People's Party of Canada is getting so much traction because 
as it looks more and more certain that uh, Justin Trudeau is going to lose the election, the conservatives are, are, it's like they're taking their poll position. Well, we're going to win, so let's get as many people on our side who are liberals as we can, which I guess is a good election strategy, but still, it's so fake and disingenuous and just makes you seem like you're the same party, just with a different face. You're blue instead of red, or you're red instead of orange, or whatever color you use in your country to denote <laughs> liberals and conservatives. But then they go and do the same thing that the parties and the people that they have complained about for years do. And it's the exact same thing no matter what face you do, no matter what face you put it on. And it's not good for anybody, and it needs to stop from all sides. Oh, and I wouldn't lie to you, except for me.